Yo guys, it's Gale, what's going on? Sorry if I sound a bit weird, my voice is kinda... It's kinda fucking... <coughs> Jeez! I kinda gone at the moment. This one's gonna be a quick 10 to 13 minute guide on how to beat Night Runners. I've seen a lot of big YouTubers have issues with the game and struggle not to name anyone. I don't know, I don't know how the fuck they can't drive, even on the Discord, on the Patreon. But yeah, uh, you're gonna get a call from this guy JB, and that's gonna get the story rolling. He owes you, uh, basically, he fucked you over, sent you to Japan, said he had a car, didn't have a car, gets you into debt, and that gets the story rolling. Okay, so when the phone call's over, go upstairs, get the money in the shoebox that he left you, and then hit the computer, and that's going to take you to the auction house. You just got to give it a sec, you get a little text message, nice little animation pops up. Gem's done a fantastic job, really. Okay, so what you're looking for is... A cheap grade one car so you have a little bit of money left over you got a choice between the 200 and the 180 they're essentially the same the 180 can be a little bit lighter depending on the sun type roof but that's uh, that's later on in the game you want to repair and change the oil that's the most important thing and also check the engine health if you need to then all you do exit the garage and depending on your engine your modifications if you rev your engine it changes the sound. You can also even change the blow-off valve sound, which is a you know, pretty nice detail. Anyway, you're going to get a phone call from the guy. He's going to give you a load of debt. Press start right on the D-pad, and that's the first location. You'll get a blue arrow, and just follow that. It's just A on the Xbox uh, controller to set the GPS. You just want to follow the road, take the right exit, and then slow down and turn into this little entry bay here. It's Y on the e controller to enter. And yeah, this is Tatsumi. You should get a call from Daisuke. He sucks dick. You want to haggle him for as much money as you can, really. You should be able to get, I think, 420 out of, uh, out of this one. And if you haggle them for long enough, they'll give you a dialogue option. Like, do you even want to race? So yeah, 420. You want to accept that shit? Your main bread and butter is drag races early on, but unfortunately there were no drag races, so you want to just get what you can. Because in this game, drafting is really the key to it, especially in the early game. You can stay behind till the end and play safe, or you can play it risky, get in front. The traffic in this game can be brutal though, so you want to be careful. As you can see in first person. You can change your lights on and off with R3. That's how you engage in a race for the drag races. And for cornering, you want to let off the throttle if you don't have coilovers or tires yet. And that's how you should win your first race. At the end of the race, there'll be a pop-up with all the details like the debt and the side bets. And sometimes you'll get an offer now, if you get a call like this, you want to always double up. Because you've just done the race, it's the same track, you should know how to do it. And you gain rep. And then, sometimes you'll get a call to throw. So you get a nice little moral dilemma to make. You can either throw the race for a certain amount, or you can win the race for a certain amount. But, you do get penalties if you decide to throw the race. So it's really up to you. As you can see, I had a bad launch, my car's slow, doesn't matter. But as long as I stay relatively close to his airflow in his stream, I will catch up to him. I actually uh, get behind in this race. You'll see in a second, yep. So I'm 150 meters away. But because I'm drafting him, I'm just able to slingshot right past him. The first person in cockpit view really helps for these types of maneuvers. But yeah, sprint races are uh, quite a significant amount longer than drag races. That's why early on, you really want to be working on drag races. So start menu, jump to garage, head back. This is the fastest way to do it. So every action takes time. So check your engine. As you can see, mine's orange. Oh, my oil. So press X and it will change the oil. And you're ready to go out again for your night. Okay, so you want to exit. Start on the map, right on the D-pad, A to GPS, and then drive there. 
wants you there, back at Tatsumi. You want to race people that you know you can beat. Like your last opponent. Try and look for drag races, but unfortunately there was no one there again, so I ended up doing a sprint. But this time, I'm going to throw the offer to show you guys an example of what happens. If you notice at the top right, you have your reputation, and because it's the end of the night, your reputation essentially uh, multiplies how much money people bet on you on the side bets. But if you lose and throw the race, you uh, lose your multiplier. But it doesn't matter at the end of the night because it's the end of the night, I think. I don't know if uh, Gem's changed it. He's been pretty constant with the updates, which is nice to see. Patreon's nice and active, which is good. So is the Discord. I recommend joining in it and having a look around if you're interested in the game. So yeah, obviously because you threw, you're going to lose quite a bit of money and rep. And there you go. And that's how you make a lot of money in one night. You'll get a little rating screen and the auction house will reset. So, wake up, check the computer, and try and find something. The grading system, essentially, the higher the grade, the better. The lower the mileage, the better. But it varies. Some cars is slightly RNG-based. Some cars can be grade 4, but spawn with like a slightly yellow-orange or not perfectly green. I managed to find a grade 3, I believe. Uh, 200 RS you can actually flip cars for profit if you repair them so you just want to change the oil so my car you can see the engine health is yellow the oil is slightly darker than yellow so you want to always always change your oil because it affects engine strength cooling top speed and other external factors engine cooling and strength is important so you want to stay on top of that because if you overheat during a race it can affect your top speed Walk up to the car, press A, install the new parts. You can sell the old parts if you go over to the part that you bought. Press A, sell with X, and there you go. Go back to Tatsumi. Try and find a drag race like this one, for example. It doesn't matter if you get a bad launch, because drafting is the key to this, especially early on. You can easily repay your debt in one night and beat SK, which is the first boss. As you can see, it gets a little bit hairy at the end here. The game's full of close moments like that. Now, this one's a slightly longer drag race. I get a different opponent here. So with longer drag races, you can really chill. You can even change up to a higher gear and just take your time, or you can risk it, and, you know, send it a little bit if you're running Nitrous as well, which is R3 on the uh, Xbox controller. But as, as you can hear, the music bangs. They did a great choice with the soundtrack so far for the game. And it's simple as that. So you want to repeat this pretty much until your debts are paid. And you'll end up with some late game stuff like this. So, this isn't the lightest car. Or it's just a build that I came up with. You can even change rim size. But yeah, this is the grade 1 car that I started with. But you'll notice if you use things like nitrous oxide and stuff in a grade 1 car with high mileage, watch the temperature gauge at the bottom when I hit my nitrous. Up, up, up. Nearly overheating. Very close. So, the th a mechanic in this game your engine heat doesn't reset between runs, but between races it does. Just not after the race, and uh, in between runs. So this race, my temp is still high. For wheel spins, just uh, right trigger and then left trigger quickly, and you'll hit 90 degrees even with a stock car. So yeah, as you notice, I'm at 130 degrees Celsius. And I will overheat if I use my nitrous, because I'm using a two-shot system. And this causes a loss of power. So when you're building a car, it's important to consider balance and other external factors like that. And you'll easily become rich. 
takes a little getting used to because it plays like old school racing games. But yeah, drag races, 30 seconds versus some sprints, which are quite long. So drag races are what you want to focus on. Man, I'm so ill. This fucking sucks. Anyway, when you've built a car, you want to make sure that you've sold all the extra parts. So just go along. Anything that doesn't have uh, no parts available, just click on it and then X to sell. And yeah, just go through the entire car, fenders and all that shit. I'll put carbon on this to make it a bit lighter. Okay, so once you've sold everything, you want to go upstairs and sleep because sleep passes the time. You can actually sleep at midnight if you don't want to play the entire night just to farm the auction house because the auction house resets every night. Again, you get your final grade and then the day resets. So, you want to check the auction house? And I got absolutely RNG godded this run with a fucking grade full. I actually got two, go two good cars on here, but... I only want the grade 4. Look at that. 14,000 kilometers. Only 1.3 million yen. And it's a manual. Manual goated. So yeah. That's an instant buy. Slightly riced out. As you can see you can get modified cars in the auction house. And they might come with modifications like this one does. It's got 217 horsepower. It needs its oil changed. So you want to select the car. And it'll swap out your current car with the new car, as you can see. Change the oil, which is again is X. And there we have it. That's how you get a gem. So the sleep technique is pretty good. As you can see, my engine health is green on that. It's orange on the starter car, because it's had a lot of races. And it's grade one, and it's gr uh, what yellow on the uh, grade three. So you want to stay on top of changing oil, your engine strength, and your cooling. Okay, so I didn't I didn't really think this far ahead. I don't have an outro, uh, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna put some background footage in. Safe. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, dislike.